Now, when you choose a law career, the moment you embark, there is that joke you're bound to hear, a lawyer is a shark. Ignore that, it's simplistic and it's dumb. Only some of you will turn out sharks, just some. The rest are chum. Our topic is blood in the water. Kids, it's time you faced. Law school is a waste. Oh yes, unless you acquire a taste for blood in the water. Dark and red and raw, you're nothing until the thrill of a kill becomes your only law. Mr. Schultz, hypothetical question. Would you be willing to defend the following banker accused of fraud? A kind old grandma took her savings and she sent it. Off to your client, all she saved since she was born. Well, he promised to invest it, but he spent it. On prostitutes and heroin and porn. No, I would not want to take that case. Wrong! This one is a win unless you're lazy. Grandma's broke, she'll have some hack from legal aid. Put her on the stand and call her old and crazy. Your guy goes free and he can get you high and laid. Look for the blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only spineless snobs will quarrel with the morally dubious jobs. Yes, blood in the water. Your scruples are a flaw. Ms. Hoops, hypothetical question. Would you be the right lawyer for the following client? Say they offer you a bundle for defending. A famous hitman for the mafia elite. The seems he missed his chosen prey, killed a nun, and drove away, running over three cute puppies in the street. What, you think I wouldn't defend him just because he's a typical man? <laughs> oh, you lesbians think you're so tough. Uh, but... Uh... Oh dear, I fear my comment has offended. Hard to argue, though, when you're too mad to speak. Your employment will be very quickly ended when they see how your emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I run a billion dollar law firm. And I hire four new interns every year. From this class, I will select four young sharks whom I respect, and those four will have a guaranteed career. Do you follow me? So I want to see what? Blood in the water. Exactly, let the games begin. Four of you will win. But just those four with the dorsal fin. Yes, blood in the water. So fight and scratch and claw. Yes, Ms. Uh... Woods, L. Woods. Someone's had their morning coffee. Would you summarize the case of State of Indiana v. Hearn from your reading, please? Oh, I wanted to answer the puppy question. But I'm asking you about the assigned reading. Okay, who assigns a reading for the first day of class? <laughs> you have guts, Ms. Woods. Ms. Kensington, let us say you teach a class at Harvard Law School, a position that you're justly proud about. But a girl on whom you call hasn't read the case at all. Should you let it go? Or... No, I'd throw her out. All right, then. You heard your classmate. You have just been killed. She cut your throat, so grab your coat. Yes, you've got guts, but now they're spilled. You're bloods in the water. Talking to Scar. Well, hi, Scar. Hi.
Okay. Um, so, what's your problem? Uh, everything. I'm not a king. I am not a ruler. Simba's alive. His father is dead, which is still the good thing, but still, I'm not the king. Oh, I get it. That's too bad. I know. Do you want me to start my whole backstory thing, or do you want to get right to the point? Uh, I get right to the point. I mean, like, seriously, there's so many videos about you already. So, I mean, so, no more speculating. Just get right to the point, because I don't want p fans to overthink this theory a little too much. So, let's just move on for past that. Because, well, to be honest with you, we got a lot of theories, depending on what your, how your story works. You already got the tale of three, um, the tale of the two brothers. So, yeah. If you guys have ever heard of that, heard of that story, it's a, basically a book about, it's basically a book about Scar and Mufasa and their young lifestyle. When they were cubs and when, when their father was the ruler. So, if you guys want to check that story out, there's a YouTube video somewhere. Um, I'll leave the link so you guys can see it. Now, if you got, now, this story, now this, um, book is the, is a YouTube reading audio thing, and so it doesn't really read for you, it just kind of, you have to, like, it moves the pages, so you're gonna have to pause, you have to pause every time just to read it, but anyway, once you get to that point, you can figure it out, okay? Anyway, back to the point, act back, so... Well, it all starts out like this, you know, um, I was jealous of my brother. Yes, jealousy. That always happens between siblings. But I killed him. That's kind of the wrong thing to do. You see, that's not what people do. They hesitate to that because they love the siblings. I get it, I get it. But sometimes I wish I was a lonely child, you know? That way I could be the king. And I have power. I have a big, I have a big roar. That I once had for the most of years ago. That's too bad. I know. Why is it not here? Anyway, can you help me find a way to become king? I don't think so. Anything that's harmful in a way. I know. I have to kill Simba, don't I? No, 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 no. Don't do that. I think you should go and be interested in more of a different kingdom. You know. Browse around. Buy a different kingdom to conquer. That's what most other lions do. Hmm. You say I'm supposed to conquer another pride or whatever. Yes. A lot of lions do that. Even Kion is doing that. Kion? You know, Kion. The lion Simba's son. He had a son already? Oh. I didn't know he had a son. Well, he did. Oh, Anyway, he's going to, f anyway, some people say, as a fan, when he grows up, he's going to find a new pride to join up with the other lions. So maybe you could do that sort of thing. Hmm. Or you could consider being an outsider. Some lions do that too. They're kind of like on their own, searching for things. You know, that sort of thing. Or you could be like, you can be like Shere Khan and hunt your own. Shere Khan? I don't know that guy. Well, he's a tiger, and he kind of hunts by himself. Oh. Hmm. Um, I guess I can look into that. I guess I can make it a hobby or something. Yeah, yeah. Do you have anything else to complain about? Yeah, hyenas. Oh, yeah, I get that. Yeah, they're just so crazy. I think I just want to get with them for a while. Well, I think the best thing to do is take a vacation. That's what I told one other villain once. Um, I think I told um, Captain Hook that once to take a vacation and like go somewhere else for a day and don't come back until you feel like you want to. Okay, that sounds reasonable enough. Well, Scar, it seems like you got a lot of ideas of what you can do with your life. So I think the best thing to do is to go on a vacation you know, take a break, and then maybe you can, like, work on your own, and maybe you could, um, find a, try to find a new kingdom if it's so painful for you to stay on your own. You know? 
Yes, yes, I think that would work perfectly. Thank you, Oswald. I'll try it out. I'll take a vacation. I'll have a few- I'll spend a few days on my own, and then maybe I'll find a pride to take over. Great! And I'll send you a copy of African Cats. That might help you out. African Cats? It's an- it's a Disney movie that's about- that tells the- that tells a story about interesting nature lions. It will probably teach you how to, like, become a natural, um, born ruler or whatever. Or a dictator, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, cool! Okay, I'll take that. Here. Here's a copy of it. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna get started right away. Thanks, Oswald. No problem. Amber, if you're a villain that needs a lot of help, just call me. I know what to do. Ooh, another villain. I wonder who it is today. Yes, yes. Who is it? It's me, Shia Khan. I like to have a woo with you if you don't mind. Shia Khan! What a pleasant surprise! It's, yeah, isn't it? Now, um, you have, I heard that you have helped my cousin figure out a few things about his lifestyle. Like, you helped him a lot. Maybe you can help me. You mean Scar? Oh, sure. No problem. Okay, so... Well, I... What's your problem? Well, the thing is, I'm looking for this man cub. His name is Mowgli. And, well, he's safe in that... Well, what's um, that... What you would call it? Man village. Hmm. Well, that's a very hard offer. Very hard offer? Offer? Well, it is. I mean, like, you can't just kill humans. I'm a villain! Don't you see? Well, yes, but this is a very tall order. Okay. Well, hmm. Well, tell me a little bit about the man village, shall we? Okay, well, the Valen village is just a place where humans live, and I hate humans. Why do you hate them? I'm not sure if you want to know that. Oh, come on, you could tell me. No, I can't. It's, it's just too much. You, you just don't know. Come on. All right, but pause to tell anyone. I never tell anyone at all. Well, the villains tell me their secret safe with me. Okay. Well, you see, a pack of hunters killed my family a long time ago. And I was just a young tiger. I was the last one that lived. They all killed me for, they killed them all for nothing. They killed them for money, poaching, and all that stuff. They killed me for no reason. They killed my family and everything with the, with the touch of fire. I hate that stuff. And for that, they killed my family. And once I realized that, I vowed to kill every to kill any human that comes my way in the jungle. Forever, I will kill every single human that lives on. And that child step blew me. He was the only human that lived in the jungle, and for that, I wanted to kill him. And so, I roamed the earth to find Mowgli and kill him, and then the rest of his 
friends and everybody else a parish. But one time, this is one time, one time I actually got close to killing Mobley. Really? How? Lots of times. Well, the first time was like this. His father was there. I killed him. He was pretty easy. Although, the fi although his fire, his fire gave me a scar right by my eye where, I lay, where it lays. Yeah, I could see that scar right there. Must have been, must have been crazy. Yes, very crazy that day on. And then the fire just ran me away for I was too scared. That father, I killed him, but I was too scared for the fire to even, to even notice Mowgli. I was too scared. Gee. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's the point, you see. And then. Then. Then what? Then. Mowgli was in the jungle. And he got away. All because of a girl. And then he came back again. I tried a second time. Didn't work. And then I tried for a third time. Did not work. I tried so many times to try to kill that, that man cub. And I haven't got any close. Because his friends. His friends are there to protect him. Friends? Like who? You know, the usual. Bagheera. The wolves. Baloo. Everybody. I tried to kill Baloo, but for some reason he came back to life. It was so amazing. I don't even know how it happened. Wow. Well, um... Shere Khan, you got some of a story here. I know, don't I? Well... <laughs> well, I can't really say that you can just... If you, you really want to destroy the man village, right? Is that your whole pl plot? Yes. Hmm. How do I stop him? Well, I can't tell you that. I'm only here to help you. Feel better about yourself. Huh. Your con? Hmm. My problem is too impossible, isn't it? Too impossible to overcome. Too impossible to even mention the fact that, well, I'm use I'm hopeless, I guess. Just hopeless. Humans are terrible. They hate me. Now, Shere Khan, I know what you're. I know what you're thinking. And you're probably right. Huh? Humans are evil. How am I supposed to stop them? I mean, the only thing I say you can do is rally up a friend that can trust you. Not the vultures, because I know they can't trust you. I know they're scared of you. I know they... Rattle up something. Rattle up something. How about Ka? How about Ka? He's a villain. He would probably help you. Hmm. Well, okay. You might as well fight fire with fire. <gasps> Not in that sense. I meant, like, maybe you should just collect your friends, do what Mowgli does. Maybe train a little more harder, and maybe you'll get him someday. Hmm. 
Okay. All I can say is train very hard. Maybe growl up a few friends and maybe you'll get them someday. You got it? Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. I will do that. I'll roll up a team. And get Mowgli for sure. I shall get him now. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting over my head myself. It seems that your whole life is filled with fire and hate. It is, Oswald, it is. Let's face it, my life is just in danger of, like, all because of humans. Yeah. I suppose you're right. There's nothing you can do, is there? No. There's just nothing. Well, I guess the best thing to do was to do nothing. Nothing? Yeah. I mean, I mean, you can't get Mowgli. You can't do anything about it. You might as well live alone for the rest of your life. Like a tiger should, I guess. You do have Ka with you, don't you? Well, yeah. Then I guess you don't have to do anything. You could just wander around the earth being by yourself. Some people like to do that sort of thing. Some people like to be alone a lot. But if you need anything, you can always ask Ka, you know? Yeah, he's a good friend, I guess. Then I guess that's it. You don't have to do anything. I don't? No, not at all. Do not do anything at all. What about Mowgli? Don't I still... You do, but... But since there's nothing you can do... There really is nothing. Unless, if you want to wait until Mowgli gets into the jungle again. You did say you did see him more than once in the jungle, right? Uh-huh. And he loves it, right? Right. So, why don't you just wait until he gets back? You know, he just really loves the jungle. He probably will come back. Yes. Yes! And when he does, I'll be ready for him. Exactly! Now. Now. Do you feel happy? Of course I do. My cousin was worried about you. You gave me some great ideas, and I shall accept it. Thank you. You're welcome. Remember, if you're a villain that needs help, just call me Oswald. Just call me Oswald.